Taser has been a good tool for our officers. Uh, it's helped reduce injuries to not only the officers, but to the, the suspects as well. Anytime we can come to a resolution at a call that doesn't involve serious injury, that's a plus, not only for the officer, the bystanders, but also the suspect. Uh, we use the taser on combative subjects. Uh, we'll use the taser in protection of ourselves or protection of, of other third parties. Um, it locks your body up depending on how you get, the, how the deployment happens and um, you just fall to the ground and you're immobilized. I think it can be a really helpful thing, um, especially when someone's, you know, when you're one-on-one -on -one with someone or when it's just one person who's violent or aggressive or if they have a weapon or something like that. And it's really helpful as far as um, that goes because instead of trying to wrestle with someone for four or five or ten minutes even to get someone under control, it's a whole lot safer for them, it's a whole lot safer for us, um, all the officers, and it can be a lot safer for the other inmates too if there's other inmates around and none of the rest of them are causing problems. Because the studies show that the taser minimizes the risk for the subject and for the officers as well um, versus going hands-on with the subject. It just, it it kind of puts you at ease a little bit because you have an extra tool at your disposal that you can use. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can encounter, so it's essentially just reassuring to know that you have those extra options if that's what's necessary for the instance at hand. And so this just gives us another option, and I think as officers, the more, the more options we have sometimes, the better. Uh, the Riley Canyon Police Department, we require 16 hours of training. It's a full two days. Uh, the first day is mostly classroom. The second day is nothing but practical exercises and the application of the taser. A lot of people have an idea in their mind of what a taser does, and so sometimes, most of the time you just you, you touch it or you, you bring it up and it, it kind of deters the crime. We require an exposure for every officer carrying a taser for several reasons. One of the reasons is I want them to understand what that person is going through, that they, can, they can't physically put their arms behind their back when they're under uh, force of the taser. Uh, I want them to be able to uh, fully understand what they're going through. Five Mike, do you want to know or are you not want to know? No. Okay. How long do you want to go? Just five. Okay. Oh, way down? Yep, all the way down. <laughs> How'd you feel when the taser was being deployed? Yeah, you can definitely feel like the jolts hitting you. 19 pulses per minute. Yeah, you can exactly. feel it like you get a little harder, a little softer. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and move over for now. Good job. Do you think you're going to comply now? <laughs> are you gonna are you gonna wanna quit resistance? I'll wait until you unplug me first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Tim, do you wanna know or do you not wanna know? Yes, please. Alright, five seconds. Yep. Alright, you ready? Yep. Taser, taser, taser. Put it down. Go ahead, go ahead and go all the way down. How you feel, Tim? That's alright. <laughs> Good job. Feel better now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Drogi, you were right. It wasn't that bad, but it was an example thing. <laughs> you want to count down? Sure. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no air gap in there, Alfred. How you feel now? Fine. It's Good. Like, turn it off and it stops. Good job. Do you want to know or not want to know? Uh, sure, let me know. Okay, I'll give you a three second countdown. Three, two, one. Taste the taste of Let it down, let it down. <laughs> <laughs> If you were fighting, do you think you'd still want to continue to fight afterwards? Absolutely not. It'd be crazy. Anything to make it stop. Change, change in behavior, right? Yeah, right. And that's what we're looking for is voluntary compliance. Sometimes it's like it, magic 
it takes five seconds to get that voluntary compliance, but that's ultimately what we're looking for. And it's probably one of the biggest evolutions in law enforcement I can think of.